Hello everyone, today with me the winners of the VISIS Project Prizes 2013 that were awarded at the VISIS Forum 2013 and today with me is the Deputy Minister of Telecommunications from Mexico, Ignacio Peralta, as well Coordinator for the Information Society, Monica Aspe, and as well Rima Cuprita, Director of IFO. And the first question will go to, the, to His Excellency. What is the biggest achievement of the project's Mujer Migrante and what is the next steps for this project? Well, in this project, I believe that the biggest achievement is to link several organizations related with uh, immigrant flows in Mexico. Uh, not only official organizations, but uh, NGOs as well, that uh, they really, really uh, care about the human rights that uh, these people not only Mexicans, but Latin American people as well, has the right to be treated equally and in, in very conditions. So I believe that for the moment, in, in, in while we build uh, most uh, numbers and statistics, the biggest achievement is to link these organizations. Thank you very much. The next question will go to Monica. Monica, you are the winner as well uh, of the category C6, Enabling envi Environment. And then my question will be about uh, the project Club Digital. Could you please elaborate more on this project Club Digital and how does it contribute to the Enabling Environment? Yes, well, part of Enabling Environment is building the capabilities uh, we need in, in society for ICT. And in the Latin American case, in 2015, our skills gap for trained professionals in ICT will be 35% uh, between the, the skills professionals we need and the ones we have available. So Club Digital aims at uh, training young people in ICT skills, not formally in school, but informally, so they can learn uh, many different things through this platform and uh, be also useful in the new economy. Thank you very much, Monica. And the next question will go to Rima. Could you please elaborate more on your project as the winner of the category C4? What is the target group of this project and what are the innovative techniques that you use in this project? Yeah. C4 category is a capacity building. And um, public libraries are open to all members of the community. And if you have ICT enabled libraries and if you have um, skilled librarians, you can reach millions of people. And public libraries uh, that we worked with and we supported um, worked with uh, communities that are remote farmer communities. For example, we have an um, interesting example where public library was taking laptops to farmers, remote farmers in Andes Mountains to teach them ICT skills, connect them to uh, online social media where Chilean farmers are connected and also to discover that there are online markets that they can start selling the products online and they were amazed they had no idea that there is a social media network um, of uh, Chilean farmers and that the Ministry of Agriculture has so much information available for them and all of a sudden all these uh, new world open to them so it's just farmers, there's um, areas of agriculture that, um, uh, areas of health that public libraries were developing innovative services, economic development, uh, the services that public libraries were working with unemployed members of their communities. Uh, they were educational services that um, were developed and of course uh, in all of them public libraries were reaching out to vulnerable and disadvantaged members of the community. So we wanted with this project to show that public libraries can really fill the gap when there is in the society, not everybody has a computer, not everybody has the skills to use the computer, not everybody has a smartphone, and um, not everybody knows what's out there. And now my question will be to all of you, what does it mean for you to win the prize? And we will start from the Deputy Minister of Telecommunications from Mexico. Well, it's a great satisfaction that at the end of the day, uh, 
what uh, you're looking for, uh, I mean, for, for a purpose uh, in terms of help, and in terms to apply technology, in, in terms to uh, spread the information that you can use technology to, to provide information to the people for certain purposes. Uh, you're meeting your commitments, you're meeting your objectives, and it's very, very satisfactory. Thank you. And Monica, would you like to add? Uh, well, it's very exciting because um, we are, it, it proves that we're doing uh, good work, that we have good projects in the emerging economies, and specifically in Mexico, it's exciting both for M Mujer Migrante and for Club Digital, uh, that we can really help these uh, social groups through ICTs, uh, empowering people with, with the abilities and the access that they need. Thank you very much. Thank you, Monica. Rima? Um, yesterday, when my friends and colleagues were looking at the photos that were taken when we received awards, they were commenting that they looked very happy. So uh, it's true. I am very, very happy and uh, very honored to receive um, uh, such an award, which is um, important recognition for public libraries um, as partners in development. It's also important for us as a staff, we have as an NGO, we have a small staff comparing with the 60 countries that we work with. So it's very, it's, it's an extra motivation. And of course it is important for our projects, for libraries, for public libraries, they can show the impact and now it's visible globally. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of you to be with me here today. Thank you.